looking, I was like, okay, they're about to register these five kills, you know, I mean, trying to figure out what's wrong, you know, I still didn't see any kills next to my name, all of a sudden, all five of these guys turn around, okay, and this is in the game, and I see this on the screen happening, and uh, this is the reason why I don't play Call of Duty now, this, this next thing traumatized me for life, man, I'm, I'm serious, I, um, the only thing I saw was, and, and I swear to this, gamers don't believe me when I tell them this story now. You know, they, they're like, that didn't happen, Matt. Come on, man, stop playing. You know, but no, no, this really happened, and I swear to this now. For about half a second, they turned around. They looked at me. And I actually saw the little characters, you know, little digital men with helmets on. They, they looked down at themselves, and I guess to check to see if they had any bullet wounds, and I guess they didn't. And they, they actually looked at each other all five of them and you know what I, I couldn't believe it I was thinking the same thing they were I'm like did did I just run up into a small enclosed area with five people and unload 500 rounds in like two seconds and hit nobody I, I, I just by the time I had gotten done thinking that just I mean oh man it was so bad I think I took 47 headshots you know, it's just pew, 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 headshot, headshot, head, head, headshot, head, 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 headshot, headshot. Holy cow, you suck! Headshot, headshot. You know, it was so many headshots. You know what I'm saying? If I was a rapper, Fifty Cent, you know, he he would be way under me. You know what I'm saying? I was the baddest man. I just took forty-seven shots to the head and stuff. But you know, and it actually has the nerve to show this replay a couple times after you die. You know, camera spins around, turns and looks at you. You know got you looking like you're doing the stinky leg and then all of a sudden you fall to your knees on the floor and you just you die you know you, that's it you know and uh, that was traumatizing to me man I cannot explain to you guys what was going on in my head I mean here I am I'm the 1997 champion of shooter games you know what I'm saying Georgetown that's right I bet you they remember that summer Mac Daddy you know I got all these emotions flowing through me you know I was all hyped to play this game and show them you know that the old school could still get down and um you know I had just gotten shot 47 times you know what I'm saying I I do not know how that stuff happened I mean I was like well, this isn't like the old games you know what I'm saying I used to go in guns a blazing into a middle of a crowd with the freaking hatchet you know what I'm saying a pocket knife you know everybody else had weapons and I would come out on top you know what I'm saying I, I was the last man standing this game sucks I hate this game, you know, I had all these emotions and stuff, and, you know, I, I look up at the screen, you know, after all this had gone down, you know, the screen kind of turns sideways a little bit, it turns a little bit bloody, you know, it says, very politely, mind you, it says, uh, press start to resurrect, you've been killed, okay, and I'm sitting there staring at this screen, and I mean, I don't know, it's, I guess it was kind of a self-reflection type period or something started happening, I mean, I just... I guess in my mind I was so angry and upset and, I don't even know, and tr shocked and traumatized. You would have thought they threw me into a pool of, like, in negative 30 degree water or something. I, I just was standing there staring at this screen. And, uh, you know, started thinking, you know, whatever happened to the Mac Daddy of old? You know what I'm saying? I, I remember back, you know, 1997, Georgetown University. I was at an internship or type of thing. You know, we, we went to a summer camp. And, you know, your parents drop you off, and about a week later, they pick you up, and, you know, you, you've had your first LAN games and stuff. That's what these kids did. You know, there wasn't any real work going on. You know, and the camp counselors made sure that we played the games, too. They set it up. You know, and it, it was the first time I was playing a LAN game, and there was about, you know, 15 other people, so 16 total, playing, you know, whatever game it was. You know, playing Quake, playing Duke Nukem, playing, I mean, all kinds of stuff. And, you know, it, we couldn't help ourselves. These guys were playing Warcraft, too, and, I mean, all of a sudden camp counselors come up and they organize you know a game everybody playing some Duke Nukem or whatever and you know I'm the Duke Nukem champ I mean I've been playing this game for like a year already at home so I mean I start salivating at the mouth I'm like oh this is great you know they, these cats don't know I can play and they they couldn't play they, they were actually using the keyboard only you know they were using the keyboard to fire using the keyboard to turn them to, to run and all that I was the only one that knew I could use the keyboard and the mouse you see what I'm saying I was advanced I was the only Negro that knew this, and, you know, I had an advantage. I was about to take advantage of everybody else, you know, and they didn't know this. So I secretively took the computer at the end of the, you know, end of the row, and uh, I secretively hooked up the mouse so that I could use the keyboard and mouse, and nobody even recognized me, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, in a few minutes, everybody starts playing, you know, we're playing this big Duke Nukem battle, and 
all of a sudden it's just Mac Daddy is on the board. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Oh man, you want to talk about having some fun? I I, I was doing stuff, you know, that, that was highly suspect. You know, it, camp councils were going get on the intercom and whatnot, having some fun. You know, it's only about thirty of us total. You know, <laughs> talk about some. Uh, all those who are playing the land game of Duke Nukem, please avoid the bathrooms on the West Wing. There apparently is a man named Mac Daddy X who is uh, dressed in purple with a hatchet and a smile. If you go into the bathrooms, please look in the mirror first, because if he sees you, you're gone. Thank you. You know, <laughs> boop, <laughs> we'll get off the intercom, whatnot, you know. It was fun, man. I mean, nobody went into those bathrooms anymore, you know what I'm saying? First 15 minutes of the game, people were like, dog, gone, you go into those bathrooms, man, it's it's game over. You know, I'd, I'd go in there and hide in the stalls or in the vents or something. Someone comes in, I'd come out with a hatchet and take their rocket launcher. You know what I'm saying? I, I was a bad man, you know? I, I couldn't help it, but think, you know, how times have changed, you know? And even though Duke Nukem was kind of crude, you know, it it wasn't really considered that violent video game everyone was complaining about, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't like today, you know, something about the cheesy pixelated sprites that people weren't buying back then, you know? I, but, uh, you know, it's it, even though it was kind of crude, you know, he got this this dude with the buzz cut walking around giving like chicks dollars and stuff and telling them shake it baby you know you wanna dance you know and they would really shake it you're like whoa man I, I can't even play this game around my parents this thing is cool you know but it was just a you know a cheesy little game it wasn't considered like the violent thing and plus it was playable the gameplay was excellent you know I, I felt like a king in Duke Nukem what happened to me you know I'm staring at the screen you know I'm thinking what, what happened to the Mac Daddy who played Quake where Everybody was afraid to go down to the second floor of this two-stage level, you know. I, I actually went and hung down there in the, in the cellar in the basement area, and I, I stayed there the entire game one time. And this was at Georgetown, too. You know, I, everyone got tired of playing Duke, so they put on some Quake. This was Quake 1 we're talking about. And I wasn't, you know, I was too proud to walk around with a rocket launcher. It was too easy, you know, blowing up two people for one bullet. You know what I'm saying? I, didn't, I wasn't about that. I pulled out my hand at it, the hatchet, and I was ready to go for, for work, you know? You'd think I showed up ready to get that promotion. I was ready. You know, and I was like, man, I, I'm walking around. People didn't know how to use the mouse, so they were trying to use the keyboard, and all you saw their character do was turning, 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 trying to get a hold of you. And I was using side steps and strafes and... I was ro rotating around them while keeping the mouse on. I was doing stuff they'd never seen before. All while hacking them down. You know, like four or five hits with the hatchet and you're done. You know, taking their rocket launchers but switching back to the hatchet. You know what I'm saying? I was going to work on these dudes. And, you know, I, I had like the highest ever score at Georgetown. It was like a total of 256 kills in one run. They were letting us play all night. You know, a, a free-for-all. And nobody went down to the basement no more. It literally got to the point, you know, like 30, 45 minutes into the game, you know, people were like, yo, don't, don't, mm -mm, don't, don't go down there, man. Don't go down there. If you want to fight everyone, come and stay up here. You know, we'll just shoot each other with rocket launchers. There's a, there's a dude down there, man. He's bad. He's real bad. I, I told you not to go there. You know, and this is the kind of environment with, you know, 30 kids and, you know, only 8 to 16 can jump on. You know, people were hopping off the game and hopping back on. Every time someone new came on the game, they're like, don't go down to the cellar. I'm telling you. You know what I'm saying? We new guys like, why? What's down in the cellar? They're like, don't go down there. I know the best weapons are there, but you don't want to go there, man. And, you know, a little kid wouldn't listen. All of a sudden, you go down there, and he get hacked up by Mac Daddy. You know what I'm saying? Just to add another notch to my belt and stuff. You know, this this was the glory days for me, man. I mean, 1997. What happened to Mac Daddy? You know what I'm saying? I'm looking at this Call of Duty screen, I'm like, this isn't Return of the Mac. You know what I'm saying? I, uh, so I, I was really confused, and you know, just me telling you this story, look how long it's been. Look at the time, you know, on the clock remaining for the rest of this video, and you can see how long it's been. I literally was still staring at this screen the whole time, just like this, this whole time. Haven't My face hasn't left the screen, and I was so dumbfounded by getting rocked so hard, getting shot 47 times in the head. I forgot to push start. You know, the thing says, you know, push start to respawn. You get your, you know, get to start over again, get your life back to try and get more kills. I, I hadn't done that yet. All of a sudden, I sort of come out of this trance from reminiscing about the past, you know, and I was like, oh, oh, I forgot that I was in the game. You know, I looked down at my control. I'm like, oh, I better push start and just try to get whatever kills I can, you know. <laughs> All of a sudden, the game ends, okay? It, it, the screen switches. Didn't even get a chance to, to redeem myself in front of my friends, you know what I'm saying? We, 
it takes you to the end screen. You know, this is this is the kill screen. This is the screen at the end of the game to show you how many kills everybody has. And you know what? My homies from Hampton, you know, they represented. You got you got Big Mike up at the top. He's got like 57 kills. He's got these gold and titanium badges with medals strapped next to his name. I was like, hmm, doggone, Mike. You know, anyway, John Mike, he clocked in at like 33 kills. You got Pookie, the boy Earl, he's got like 18 kills. And then you got everybody else in the room who's got like, you know, four kills, five kills, three kills, you know what I'm saying? It, it lists them in the order from the top to the bottom in order of kills. So, you know, I'm looking for my name and I don't see it. You know, I'm like, oh, well, maybe it was a glitch in the game or something. They had to have counted those five kills, you know what I'm saying? I, maybe I should have thrown out a grenade, put it on my nose or something, look like a clown before we all died. I don't know, but I could have done something better. But I'm looking for my name expecting, you know, maybe these five kills would have registered and... Maybe somehow, magically, I was just seeing something different that actually happened. And um, I'll never forget this, man. Way at the bottom of the screen, I scroll down. And I lie to you not. I see, you know, Mac Daddy X. You know, no badges, no metal or silver stripes, no bronze, no stripes, nothing. I mean, it says, and I lie to you not. This is, this is exactly what it says. Mac Daddy X. Zero kills and one death. <laughs> Whew. Honestly, to say, uh, I I never got invited back to play Call of Duty again. You know what I'm saying? I tried. You know what I'm saying? I, my best friends wouldn't play with me no more. You know what I'm saying? We can't be representing Hampton, Mac. You know what I'm saying? We, zero kills. What kind of mess is that? You know what I'm saying? Even the blind dude from Wisconsin got a kill. You know what I'm saying? I, I was like, oh man, this is devastating, man. I, I, I was so traumatized, I never played Call of Duty again. And you know, that's that's the kind of stuff I'm talking about. I'm like, man, can I imagine? You know, I'm close to 30 years old now. You know, this is back in 2007, a modern warfare first came out. I'm like, man, if I had kids, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, 45-year-old man, I just got off of a hard day's work, you know what I'm saying? I, not really trying to do much, and all of a sudden, <laughs> hey, dad. Want to play Call of Duty 17? You know what I'm saying? I'd, I'd probably get sucker punched into it. You know, it'd make the kids happy. And I'd try to play. And, you know, it's probably not even playable anymore. You know, old school gamer like myself, I'd try to put on these holographic glasses and stuff and all this virtualization. Yeah, you know, I just probably won't play the game. And all of a sudden, bang, you know, I'm shot and I'm gone. I think that this has frustrated people. You see what I'm saying? I mean, it's not that deep down these politicians and people who have problems with the violence in these games really think that they're violent they're smart you know what i'm saying they they watched rambo yeah <laughs> you know what i mean they, far more violent than anything a game could put out you know that, that stuff makes it look real they watch the movies they watch the six o'clock news that stuff is violent you know it's just as violent as the video games you they got to realize too that it's just a form of entertainment you know and not everybody takes it seriously most people don't every now and again you do get that one psycho that's going to try and shoot up a campus but he's just a weirdo you know you've always had them you always had the village weirdo. You had the village weirdo since way back 10,000 years ago. You know what I'm saying? They always found this guy and locked him up back then. You know what I mean? You'll always get that weirdo who takes things a little bit differently than everybody else. You know, he's way under 1% of the population. You get these guys sometimes, you know, but that's not everybody. You know, it's, it's the influence of games is no different than the influence of everything else. Not everybody is going to take this serious and be all violent. You know what I mean? But hey, man, I feel them. I don't want to get beat down by my kids either, you know? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just that feeling, you know what I'm saying? It's like, man, you know, gosh, I, what, what do I need to do? <laughs> you know, I can't complain to nobody about getting beat. You know, you just kind of have to have to take it like a man. Call it the rite of passage. You passed on the skills to one, <laughs> to one that can take it further than you can, you know? That's about the best you can do, you know? I don't, I don't really buy into this whole violence and video games thing. So, uh, that's, that's pretty much the only rant that I have. Uh, you know, you guys let me know what you think about all of this, this violence in video games, you know, and, uh, I will talk to y'all later. Peace.